Hello and welcome to a match between Jelito and myself. Jelito as Morians and I'm playing the Ptolemies. Strange place to put a house, but okay. Okay. Oh, the moon shining off that <laughs> that uh, river there is pretty good. Alright. No baskets, but farmstead. Oh, I um, replied to a comment earlier and I called the farmstead the granary. <laughs> it is not a granary, in fact. What's the population looking like? Yeah, he's really got these houses early. I mean, why not, I guess, but that's quite early. Well, I got quite a few camel archers in this match. And I didn't micro them very well. Got baskets. Oh, there's some good uh, scouting happening here. Got five ladies doing nothing there, which is, that's something as well. That's, that's something. Very good scouting by Jolito. And Barry's going right to the worker elephant. That's a... It's a good thing. Very interesting. What's this? A corral? A guy in corral? I did not even know that was on this map. Oh dear. I'm the one who hosted the lobby and I don't even know. And you can get stone from there as well. Okay. Sheep up here. Yeah, I know about those. There's a lioness. And barracks. Population capped, but only because of five coming out. And another... Uh, House just built. Keeping up on wood pretty well. Yeah, it's um It's an interesting build this it eschews the storehouse and just puts mass manpower on the situation. This strategy is going to drop off in about a minute or two though, once all these berries have gone. I think you really need the uh, at least the first wood upgrade from the storehouse to uh, in order to uh, get the fields out at least as um, Morians anyway. Oh, ten ladies! Hoof. This map is interesting. I think I prefer it to the other one that's similar to this. There's another map similar to this. And uh, I think I don't like it as much as I like this one. So there we go. Eh, worker elephants are pretty good. Jolito is using them quite well. They cost 150. Interesting. Yeah. 
Okay. Morian's uh, not bad. One thing I like about Zero AD is the vastly differing playstyles of each civilization. What's happening now? Moving a lot of units. Just just putting them here. I expected a storehouse to go down, but Chilito really does just does not like storehouses. They're they're they are the bad thing. They are the bad thing. Alright. This is looking pretty decent. Poppy, I'm not going to be pop capped anytime soon. I've taken care of that. Just putting the worker elephant down there. That doesn't doesn't need a storehouse. Doesn't need one. Very good hunt going on. Only three of those versus my four. Oh, now six. Seven. I am really getting into the business of hunting. Carrying the mail or something, this elephant. Got some parcels there. Maybe maybe somebody's groceries. They've ordered the groceries in online. Where is the elephant going? Like actually where is this elephant going and why is it going there? It's just here, it's over here. The elephant is over here. Just, just for the hunt. I mean, uh, uh, alright. Okay. That's like, alright. Like, I mean, not much else to do with it, I guess. About to be population capped again. Not really to- I wouldn't have built <laughs> this barracks actually as Morians with this build. I would have waited a little longer because it's not being used. It's 100% not being used and can't be being used because it's just the food is not coming in. The first uh, farming upgrade has been researched. I have researched everything now. Or well, am researching everything currently. The rest of the uh, storehouse stuff, anyway. Wow, this elephant. <laughs> the elephants really help a player to get these resources. <laughs> they're they're pretty good. Although that is quite a crew. So, fair enough. It also is, yeah, forcing the player to consolidate all of their resource gathering units onto one copse of trees, which is a little inefficient because of just the routing that has to happen. But, yeah, it's not so bad. These trees are spaced out quite well, so... <laughs> So it's pretty good. I uh, researched town phase completely reactively. Oh, it's starting to get away from Jolito here now. Population already. Neither of us doing too much, Shirley. Just... Casually building our bases and 
Leaving each other alone. These farms are nice, look a little strange. I like the farms that have the little, um, things. Bubbles. <laughs> the bubbles on them. The farms with the bubbles, you know. Mm. My house is going down. Elephants. Elephants are really quite cool. So three now. There were there were only two. These two uh, horses have been standing there for quite a while now, though. I must say. Food. I have about double the amount of food. Uh, uh, just I have gotten basically zero wood. Not much stone. Not much metal. I'm only ahead on food. Jalito with 500 of about everything. What is Jalito going to do with all these resources? Another barracks? It would be time to do another barracks. What is happening? Just going to get these berries now, or what? No, just... Just going over here. Just, just, you know, just going over there. Just, just going over there. Barracks. So what's that? At least two barracks now, I'd imagine. Yes. This is happening over here. These are a nice little set of berries. I think I get that where uh, Chilita doesn't really get an equivalent thing. Oh no, here it is over there. And there's also these. But I, do I get one of those? Yeah, I do over here. Okay. Okay, it's all even. It's all good. Got one unit doing nothing. That's wasting time. I have quite many units now. Although not too far ahead, really. But I could get too far ahead quite quickly. All the upgrades in the world. Not so much happening over here. No level 2 farming. And no level anything of these, I don't think. Wow, look at this. <laughs> That's why I've got so much food. 3,500 and all these farms and some of them I'm just even using them. <laughs> wow. What, how many farms is One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> That's why I probably took some units off the farms because I thought, well, look, I've got enough. Oh, and this has happened. That's what all those units were going to do. I don't know why these two elephants are still just here, though. I mean, I guess that's something, but... 15... Nabatean camel archers. is a little more strong. Well, that was some wasted units. I got rid of that, so that's something. And I've got this temple coming up to heal. What is the... Pop it... Ooh. Ptolemies, after about that 11, 12 minute mark, they just go. They just go. What's my... Oh, I've got plenty of resources. I'd even want to put more houses down soon if I... Yeah, here they are over here. 
better to get houses than to get this upgrade. That's, you know, houses are free. Ptolemy's free houses. Got all the upgrades. I'm shooting at a deer from a long way away. Got more than enough <laughs> units on this stone mine. I'm at the moment kind of having trouble figuring out what my next thing to do is. This is really stressing me out, having this right here. Other players tend to favour expansions much more than I do. I, tend, I seem to go reasonably okay without needing to expand. I mean, I've still got, you know, berries coming in. I've got some rocks over here if I want them. I'm getting these ones over here. The only reason I'd want to expand would be for metal. And, I mean, I guess there's that metal there. I mean, yeah. But my strategy doesn't really require too much in the way of metal. I, like, specifically because I go for uh, Tomaos, a uh, Serta, which... Uh, Mercenaries cost negative 35% resources during his lifetime. I usually hold off on building these kind of units until after that point. I need to be more strict with myself with that. Like, I really shouldn't be building skirmishes or any other type of mercenary before I have... Um, ...gotten the hero. Oh, this is better, getting Judean Slingers, because those aren't mercenaries. I'm getting quite a few Judean Slingers. Am I, am I getting upgrades as well? Like I bought that, but I didn't... Ah, oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. All good. Not even worrying about city phase yet. I'm just... I mean, I'm going to be pop-capped off just phase two at this point. A little bartering there. Has Jalita done any bartering? I can't bring up the... Uh... Oh yeah, I can. Now, I'm the only one to barter so far. Oh, all these units just stuck. ESD. I haven't looked up here for a while. I should really be doing that. I know what I did when I played. Yeah, I mean, why, ex other, other than expansion, just general territory, why would Jalito really be needing to create a civic centre at this point, considering that I haven't even gotten all of the metal from their first place? And they're not really looking, they're not really spending much in the way of metal either. Reaching the city phase there, that's quite good. Oh, getting the farming upgrade as well. Which, uh, yeah, looking really not great on food. Also pop-capped. Whereas, uh, I'm, I'm soon to be pop-capped just by very nature of the settings of the lobby at this point. Elephant stables coming up. Jalito, one of these players again who anticipates the game to go for at least 30 minutes, which I really like playing against. I, it's because that's basically what my strategy is looking for as well, although it's more uh, about the 25 minute mark, I would say, would be my aim. This is like, what is this? Going heavy into elephants. I mean, you know, it's, it works for this build. I'm not knocking it. Like, it's... It's good. I even, like, all, all of this is really good. Getting this expansion, like, that's... It's great. Just, I don't know, there's something... Something about it. Yeah, and I mean, from on my side, having... This many units on single copses of trees is absurd. That's too many units. 
Um, ex expanding is something that I would should be looking at doing. Although, hmm. <laughs> getting over here would be good on this map. Can I? Can you not walk over? Probably here. Walk over. I don't know. Is that all walk over a more? <laughs> Hmm. My expansion point would be to uh, uh, up here. No, I guess probably over here. Nah, it'd be here. I guess yeah. Up on this hill would be nice, but there's not really much in the way of resources. This would be. A bit more of a forward position, but I don't know if I prefer that. Nope, oh, some stuff's happening. Mmm, reached the city phase. We'll be looking at putting up a fortress quite soon to uh, set some elephants at, at the enemy. Oh, there are three elephants inside of there. Ah, I, get, I mean, they're elephant stables. They put some elephants in there. Fair call. They control a lot of control points of holding onto the building, those elephants. I guess I'm like probably even level 3 upgrades now, or... No, I'm getting the armor. Whereas I'm... By, even just by looking at this, I could say, yeah, there's not even a blacksmith. There's, yeah, these are just base... Base statistics. 150, 140 to do, <laughs> to, uh, yeah, pushing the population limit. These units are just melting. 141, 140. Even got some guys back here. <laughs> These units are just not re Oh, they're ladies? Oh, no. One of them's a... Military. <laughs> oh dear. I haven't much territory, so I'm just kind of putting everything in this zone. I've gotten quite, become quite accustomed to, to building all of my everything in little zones like that. Right, so all I need is... What about these war elephants? These war elephants could... Oh, those are worker elephants. What about... Didn't... Oh, yeah there's, yeah, there's war elephants in here. Three of them. They could attack me. But, yeah, this... Yeah. <laughs> this won't be good. All of these upgrades... All of these units have maximum upgrades now. One thirty-five. I could take this. I don't realise though. And I'm still I'm going to go <laughs> try and take that again. <laughs> oh dear. Why is the why is the no music? Is this that thing in replays? Yeah, hmm. I wonder if they fixed that for um, Alpha Twenty Four. Only one song gets played, and then that's it. <laughs> if you're uh, watching a replay, I thought they already fixed that. Maybe it's on certain maps.
E, 120, 119. These are just too many units. Look at them all. Got some healers as well. This just looks bad all over. Oh, Morian's a little uh, problematic for YouTube. I might not zoom in too close to those towers, eh? It's not not a nice symbol. They probably thought it was nice when they had it. That was ages ago, <laughs> like well, way ages. But uh, yeah, since then some stuff happened with that symbol <laughs> that was like way not good. So yeah, we're just gonna make sure not to zoom in on Morian Towers as uh, in the video. Okay, so what's this looking like? Yeah. Ah, Jolito did play a really good Morians, just military-wise, I don't know. Those... Um, I think maybe wasn't quite using the range advantage of those archers. I'm pretty sure they have a range advantage over the slingers. Maybe they don't, I don't know. I think slingers generally usually have a shorter range, though, but... Hmm. Ugh, that's... Ugh, that's nasty. <laughs> having all those... Having all those upgrades just really... Oof. Why so much barter... Efficiency bartered four wood, I guess, because and I'd, I mean, four food because I'd spent food on everything, I guess. So food and yeah, I guess yeah, yeah. Okay, I see why the barter efficiency works out that way. KDA looking really good for me there. I don't usually have that good of a KDA. And here it is, that like ten to thirteen minute mark. Toledo was actually quite far ahead <laughs> until that point. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. Sorry about the no music. It sounds, it's eerie having no sound at the end. It's weird. Anyway, I hope that your day is good. Peace.